Okay. So I'm on a server called Appoli, which is a part of Domain90Cents.com, and it has four gigs of RAM, like four CPUs, around 100 gigs of disk space, and this is the server on which I will be installing App Labs. First thing first, I need to install .NET Framework 3.5 to facilitate SQL Server installation, and then I have mounted the ISO for App Volumes 2.12 on this machine. So let's run with installation of App Volumes, App Volume Manager in particular, because on this server we will be installing App Volumes Manager, and as I mentioned in intro, App Volumes Agent we installed on Golden Image as well as on Target Devices. Target Devices means those devices or those virtual machines on which we provision applications or with the help of those we provision applications okay preparing to install app volumes uh, installation it's very simple configuration is the main thing configuration is also not complicated either but Installation is super easy. Uh, it's just uh, next, next, finish. So next, accept the license agreement. What do you like to install? Of course, I would like to install App Volumes Manager on this computer. Next. In lab. For lab purposes, I will use the local SQL Express database. Of course, in production environment, you will use an existing SQL database server, or you already will install, or you may install a new SQL database server. If it's highly available database installation, that would be better. Okay, SQL Server Express installation is taking place. It will take like five to ten minutes. So what I can do, I can pause the video and I'll be back by the start. Okay. So SQL Express installation is complete and now it's asking me to select the local or remote database. By default SQL Express installation is selected and connect using the SQL authentication or Windows integrated authentication. I will use systems account which is okay for lab environment. I'm also okay with the default name of the database catalog that it will create. And I don't have any, but I can select this option. It won't make any difference to me. Okay. By default, App Volumes Manager listens on port 443, but if you like in lab environment, you can also make it list on port 8. I will suggest in production environment to use 443 only. And that's pretty much it. I'll say next. It will begin the installation of App Volumes Manager. So while the installation is taking place, which will take around 5 to 10 minutes, I will pause the video and I will be back by this time. Okay, so installation of App Volumes Manager is completed, and, and that's what it says. This user has successfully installed App Volumes Manager. Finish to exit, and you can see here I have an icon called App, App Volumes Manager. Once again, App Volumes Manager is a web based console that you use to configure App Volumes, and it has it is the back back in application basically it saves all the configurations to sql server database so you can see app only manager is the engine overall in totality you can say and agent it's the part that we installed on virtual desktop environment on a golden image or on a target uh, virtual machine that interacts or initiates communication with App Volumes Manager. 
So that's it. And in next step, we will configure Apps Volume Manager. If I if I remember correctly, if I go to Apps Volume Manager, uh, it would like to think we need to configure Agent first on on our target device. Okay, so, but just to if I go, sorry, got the thing what App Volumes. Here it is. Welcome to App Volumes Manager. We can create and provision application groups called App Stack and deploy applications to users, computers, groups, and OUs. Track and monitor application users and other stuff. Prerequisite before we need to install App Volume agents into Golden Image or Virtual Machine template. And set up a clean desktop or virtual desktop or virtual server for provisioning applications and of course we need to install agent on the golden image as well as we need to install agent on a virtual machine that will that will be using for provisioning applications so this is the next step so let's start with